Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we'd do a full face of new makeup so I can show you my first impressions and just kind of what makeup I've bought recently and what I've just added to my collection. So I'm going to start off using the Jekka Blanc Glow Drops. Now I read on the back that you can put it all above your face before primer and before makeup. So we're going to try that. Do you know what? No, actually. I'm going to start with my primer first and then put it on. So I'm first going to use the In Transit Camera Close Up This Works Primer. So now this is in my 2023 Use Up Project Pan, but I haven't actually used it yet. So let's see what it's like. Ooh. It smells very fresh. You get like a fresh like linen smell. It smells like that. It's quite lightweight. It's not, it's not really thick, which is good. So it's just gonna sit nicely under makeup. There you go. So now that's all blended in. I'm now gonna go back in with the Jessica Blanc glow drops. Now I don't know how much of this to use, so I'm kind of just gonna use kind of the amount that I would. The primer may be a bit less. So I'm just going to put that on. Oh yeah, it's definitely giving me a bit of a glow there. I'm just going to use the mirror on my Huda Beauty palette. Oh, it's definitely made me very shiny. Definitely very glittery. Hmm. Yeah, we're very shy. I don't know how I feel about that. Hopefully, when I put like foundation on it all, that's how I shine. I'm very glittery and sparkly at the moment. We'll see. But now we're going to go in with brows, and I'm just going to use the the Revolution. What are you? A Revolution eyebrow crayon. So I can't. I can't actually get open now because I've got the product all over my hands. There we go, we get there eventually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run this through my brows and then I'm gonna get a little spoolie brush and just to flatten down my eyebrows. Run that through my eyebrows and I'm just gonna get this little spoolie and just set my eyebrows where I want them to be. There you go, so that's eyebrows all done now. I actually quite like that. It's got like a quite like waxy texture to it. It's a good little pencil. The only problem is, it looks like it's a jumbo pencil and I don't think I have a sharpener big enough to sharpen the pencil, but we'll see. I'll do, I'll do a bit of experimenting, see if I can sharpen it. So now I'm gonna move on to foundation and I'm gonna use the Middle Fart Liquid Foundation. This I recently just got in a which was like a, a mystery makeup box which I bought off TikTok shop and then I'm just gonna use a damp beauty blender now I'm not sure what the colour match is gonna be like so we're just gonna we're gonna hope that it's the right colour and that it blends and I can make it work So now I'd say this is a very like lightweight foundation with like little little coverage. So I'm just gonna go in with a bit more a few places. I think the colour match is actually like okay. I expected it to be like a lot worse, but I think we can actually make this work. There you go, so I haven't really covered my spots very well because I'm breaking out a little bit and I'm still very very shiny when you look up close to me you still see the glitter from the highlighting drops but it's okay we love a good sparkly face so now I'm just going to go in with a concealer and see if we can just brighten my under eyes so I'm going to take the Laminia Colour Geometry Play Stick in the shade 101 so this 
this says it's contour duo so it's got like a lighter shade and then like a, a darker shade so i'm going to use this light shade and i'm just going to use it as concealer and just conceal like under my eyes No, I think that concealer was actually a bit darker than my foundation. I can't lie, but it it's okay. It was really easy, to be, really easy to like blend out. So you could definitely like build it up. But I definitely think it was lighter than my foundation. It hasn't really brightened anything, but that's okay. So now I'm just gonna set that with some loose powder. So I'm gonna use the Terry Colorless Loose Powder. Oh, it's gone everywhere. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Like it's definitely gone everywhere, it's all come out. So I'm just going to put a bit on the lid, like that. And then, I'm actually going to try a powder puff for the first time. So, these are also new. I did recently just buy these, so I'm just going to dab it. And then just tap under my eye, just to try and brighten it up a little bit. And yeah, so I'm basically just going to put the loose powder everywhere where I've just put concealer. If only you could see the state of my lap right now. Some of this powder has gone everywhere. So it's all come out on the lids. So it's truly, it's truly, truly gone everywhere. I don't know if you can see like some of the smoke. Yeah, that that's just the powder. So it's definitely brightened my under eyes. Good, it's set everything in place. So now I'm just going to go in with the same um, contour stick and I'm going to use the little like bronzer just to bronze up my face. And then I'm still going in with my, oh hello, throwing it on the floor. I'm just going to go in with my little damp beauty blender still. This really has just effortlessly just blended out and melted into my face and just given me a hint of colour back. So that's good, I'll definitely use this stick again. So now I'm just going to go in with some blush. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint blush in the shade Beam. So now I think I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to put a few dots where I want it and then again I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend that out. Now this is very pigmented so you really don't need a lot at all. I've just done like two drops on each cheek and it really has just blend it out give me a little rosy glow and I'm just going to put a bit on the end of my nose to blend that out as well it's got a really creamy formula as well I'd definitely be buying some more of that and then now I'm just going to go in with some Studio London U Ju Yu highlighter drops now, I think I'm going to do the same again. I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand and then just dot a few on the high points of my face and then once again blend it out with a beauty blender. Oh, this really has just effortlessly, effortlessly blended out. You can see a bit of a glow. It does kind of have like some purple undertones to it as well but it just glided on blended out really easily so, so yeah so that's face done now we're going to move on to eyes so for the eyes i'm going to start by priming my lids and i'm going to use the just the revolution eye primer i'm just going to take a flat brush so i'm just going to put this on my lid and then just blend it out 
Now this is actually like a really glossy formula. It's quite nice. Now I know some people do like to then set their eye primer with powder, but I don't do that. I just let it, let it almost like dry a little bit and just sink into my eyes. And then I just go straight in with the eyeshadow. As I find it just gives a more pigmented look. So we're going to start off with the Nicole Miller New York 18 Well Eyeshadow Palette. Which looks like this. Got all those, those colours. And I think I'm just going to start off with this little brownie grey shade here. And I'm just going to take a speck. A, a spe I can't speak a spectrum a40 brush and and then just gonna put that color all in my crease and of course wing it out as well There you go. So now that I've done that, it's pretty much even on both sides. Um, then actually going to go into the Essence Tokyo eyeshadow palette. And I'm just going to dip into this dark brown shade here. And then I'm just going to put that in my outer lid. Okay, now going back to the Nicole Miller palette, I am just going to take that same first grey shade and I'm just going to add that to my lower lash line. Now I really like the formula of this eyeshadow. Sometimes I found that eyeshadows can just be like really crumbly and they just go everywhere but this one's got a really nice formula, it's really pigmented as well some of these colours. Okay, so now it's on the lower, lower lash, we're just going to go in with this nude colour here and then I'm just going to blend up to my eyebrows just to blend all the shadows together. Okay, now that that's done we're going to go in with this copper brown shade here and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Now there has been a bit of fallout for that shade, <laughs> like in the pan and just around my eye, but I'm not too worried about that. And then once again with the same brush, I'm just going to go in with this peach colour here and then I'm just going to take this on my inner corner. And then still using the same brush and then just gonna take this white shade and just use that to highlight my eyebrows. There you go, so now we're gonna go in with some eyeliner. So I'm just gonna go in with the Hexi eyeliner pen. Okay, it's got this cute little packaging and you just take off this little pen. So I'm just going to try and do like a little wing. Ooh. It's got a very thin tip as well, which is good for precision. There you go, sorry about that, my camera cut off. So I just finished using, doing my eyeliner. They're not symmetrical. My eyeliner never is symmetrical. But I just finished off using the Hexi eyeliner pencil and now we're going to go in with mascara so I'm just going to take this revolution mascara let's have a look oh it's very it's got like a almost like a flat a little like curved wand which will be interesting hopefully this will give me lots of volume oh that's death 
definitely giving me lots of volume. Oh yeah, so now we're just going to go in with lips and now I'm just going to keep this really simple and just use the Beauty Bay Pumping Lip Gloss in the shade Fizz. So. Oh, I can, I can feel the burning already. Oh yeah, my lips are definitely stinging now. Which means it's working. It's a good colour, it's a nice like little like neutral shade. And then to top it all off, I'm just gonna set my face with the Revolution Illuminating Fixing Spray. Now this is also in my 2023 use up, so Ooh. oh I accidentally swallowed top of that. That does not taste good, I do not recommend. But it's got quite a powerful um, mister on it so I'm just gonna waft my face and hope it dries I really need just like a little mini fan just so I can put it on and then it will automatically just dry my face so I don't have to stand here just wafting my face looking stupid but oh well Oh yeah, my lips are definitely tingling now. Are they getting bigger? You know what? I feel like they are. I feel like they are more plump. Mm, they're, de they're definitely starting to tingle though. There you go. So I think my face is pretty much dry now. So yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I just quite like this. I, like most of these products, I would say are like really good products. I would definitely repurchase them. Um, the only thing I don't know if I would repurchase are the, the Jacob Blanc glow drops because I feel like it made my face just like covered in glitter and I feel like if you come up close you can still see the glitter so I don't know whether I just need to start using this as just like a normal highlighter and not put it all over my face but it definitely says you can it says apply all over the face using your fingertips used before makeup so maybe I'll put too much on I might have put too much on I don't know but I will definitely keep testing this and see if I can find a use for it to still work for me so yeah that's the finished look um hope you enjoyed watching and tune in for the next video